In this lecture, I will discuss about the plastic analysis of steel structures. Introduction Although the term plastic analysis and design normally apply to such structures for steel uh, to apply such structures for steel structures within the yield flow regions means the plastic analysis is made for steel structures okay here why because in steel structures yielding of steel is present okay here is a stress strain curve of yield material of steel material okay here from a to b that is the elastic region from b to c that is a yield points from c to d that is a plastic strain flow from d to e that is strain hardening uh, in strain hardening the steel again start taking the load and from e to f e to f that is a failure okay so however the idea may also be applied to reinforce concrete structures okay this plastic analysis we can also in, uh, enhance for the reinforced concrete structures which are designed at ultimate loads near yielding of reinforcement okay due to the yielding of reinforcement bars in reinforced concrete structures we can extend the idea of plastic analysis in concrete structures okay now next the true stress strain curve for a low grade structural steel is shown in figure 1 okay here in this figure one the basic stress strain curve of steel material is shown okay but for plastic analysis while an idealized one is shown in figure two here in figure two idealized stress strain curve is shown which forms the basis of plastic analysis and designs means for the plastic of analysis and, and design we use this bilinear curve elastic and plastic uh, curve okay for the plastic analysis of structures okay this uh, this is a simplified form of this uh, uh, stress strain curve of steel material okay so that from a to b that is a plastic and from uh, b or c comma c to d that is a plastic region advantages of plastic analysis okay uh, why we perform the plastic analysis Uh, ultimate loads means after performing the plastic analysis we get ultimate loads uh, ultimate loads where the failure uh, will occur ultimate loads for structures and their component may be determined means we can understand the behavior of structure uh, in term of failure from where the failure start in the structure when the loading applied on the structure or when loading exceed the capacity of the member sequence and final mode of failure may be known and the capacity at relevant stages may be determined mean at relevant stages near to failure we can determine what will be the capacity of the member we can get by using the plastic analysis before performing plastic analysis we make assumptions okay here are the assumptions the material is homogeneous and isotropic means the uh, the material is homogeneous there is no uh, uh, composition that is the whole material is the steel material member cross section is symmetrical about the axis at right angles to the axis of bending means okay now the member cross section is symmetrical about the neutral axis okay at right angles uh, about the neutral axis the member cross section is symmetrical cross section which were plane before bending uh, when we try to bend any beam then their fiber go some in the curvy shape so we make the assumption that cross section which were plane before bending remain plane after bending fourth 
the value of modulus of elasticity of material remains the same in tension as well as in the compression okay when we see the stress profile bending stress profile then the elastic modulus of modulus of elasticity will remain same in the tension region and in the compression region fifth effects of temperature fatigue shear and axial force are neglected in the plastic analysis six uh, idealized by linear stress strain curve will be used will be applied means for the plastic analysis we will use this uh, stress strain curve elastic plastic curve we, we will use okay uh, number of plastic hinges uh, before number of plastic hinges i will describe what is plastic hinge okay Here is simply supported beam. Okay, here is the bending movement when we apply the load on the simply supported beam. Okay, okay, when we apply the UDL on the simply supported beam, that is the bending movement curve. At this port, there is zero moment okay at the center there is a maximum moment okay when the load for example if the, uh, there is actual steel beam and on which the loading is applied then if the loading exceed the moment capacity okay if the loading exceed loading uh, the applied loading exceed the uh, this steel beam if the applied load which is acting on this beam is exceed the maximum movement capacity of this beam then the movement def uh, then the beam definitely will go for failure okay now failure where failure will start okay definitely the failure will start at the maximum movement location okay failure will start at the center of the beam when the failure will start okay we no the stress strain curve of steel okay when the failure will start definitely the failure uh, at the failure the yield point will come when the yield point will come okay then at this section the this at the center of this section of the steel the beam will loses its movement capacity okay beams is going to fail means beam will no more take the movement so it means at the center the beam loses its moment capacity okay because beams is going to under failure when yielding will occur okay at the center at the center due to exceeding of applied loads and at the result of applied loads there will be more bending moment uh, uh, more bending moment uh, as compared to the capacity of this beam then yielding will occur at the center of the beam this point where yielding of uh, yielding will occur that is called plastic hinge okay okay uh, the yield point that will in be plastic range because we use a sim simplified by linear curve now this is a plastic range so that's why this point is called plastic hinge okay now let's see for another beam 
okay here is fixed ended beam okay i have applied udl on the fixed ended beam the bending moment curve of fixed ended beam here at this point the moment value is omega l square by 12 okay on the left side also omega l square by 12 and at the center that is omega l square by 24 okay uh, means at the center there is half moment as compared to sport omega l square by 2 is bigger value omega l square by 24 that is a smaller value so when uh, the loading exceed exceed against the moment capacity of the steel beam okay this beam then first failure will start at this sport because the uh, due to the load more moment is coming at this port omega l square by 12 omega l square by 12 so it means when uh, due to the exceeding of loading okay uh, against the capacity of this beam then for first yield point will form at this location and at this location okay so uh yielding will occur at this point and this point okay then uh, when yield uh, it means now these ports are no more ready to take the moments because they loses its capacity before uh, exceeding of the loads this beam taking the load uh, moment of omega l square by 12 at this port and this port due to the fixity but due to the exceedance of load in the beam now the beam can uh, no more means do not take any further moment because it is yielding it it has lose its capacity of moment now where this moment will go this moment will transfer at the center okay if you sum up omega l square by 12 and omega l square by 24 okay and you will get the total moment that will be omega l square by 12 now this this after yielding of the uh, uh, the moments of these uh, sports okay yielding of sports this new beam will become like this okay at this sport the beam loses its capacity to resist the moment now all the moment from this ports transfer to the center okay the, now the beam will behave like a simply spotted beam after yielding okay now again at the center the moment will be omega l square by 8 now after forming of the hinges okay this is converted into simply spotted beam will beam will not still fail okay means beam will not collapse okay now the uh, the load is uh, uh, keep on increasing until the moment reaches to omega l square by 12 then again a plastic hinge will form at the center of this beam okay now this beam uh, do not uh, have the capacity to resist the moment at the center also now this beam will collapse okay that's the phenomena of fixed ended beam means first hinges a uh, plastic hinges will form at the ports at the ports then the moment uh, the resist, the moment which is resisting uh, resisted by the ports will be released and the moment will transfer to the center okay how it will act as a simply spotted beam uh, the center moment will become omega l square by 8 okay so Uh, then the load will keep on increasing until the uh, load value reaches to omega l square by 8 then again the plastic hinge will form at the center of the this beam then the beam will fail okay here failure how failure will occur here simply spotted beam okay 
that is perfect okay that is stable this beam will fail if the yielding will occur at center of the beam now the beam will collapse okay similarly i have shown in the fixed ended beam in the fixed ended beam okay the uh, failure will occur first yield point at the spots will form that will act as a hinge but the beam will still not fail okay beam fail when a hinge will form at the center now the the whole beam do not have capacity to resist the movement okay now the beam will fail okay no st uh, stable elements okay due to the hinge form uh, formation at the center so the beam will collapse okay similarly take another example here that is a propped cantilever beam one side that is a fixed other side is a roller or hinge that is a propped cantilever beam the moment diagram of this beam i am showing on this beam here okay now the in in the prop cantilever beam one hinge will form at this point and one hinge will form at this point okay now the beam will fail okay the first hinge will form where the movement is maximum okay then the second hinge form where the movement is uh, uh, when the, the uh, there is movement is minimum so when these two hinges will form then the beam will fail that is the theory of plastic analysis okay you 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 may observe that is the determinate structure that is indeterminate structure that is again indeterminate structure okay yeah, this indeterminate structure need only one hinge okay one hinge for collapse okay here prop cantilever beam in this beam you can see the degree of indeterminacy is 1 degree of indeterminacy is 1 so uh, how many hinges are needed that is degree of indeterminacy plus 1 n plus 1 okay for the failure uh, of this beam means uh, how many hinges are needed the degree of indeterminacy in this case degree of indeterminacy is 1 plus 1 means 2 hinges are needed for the failure in the fixed ended beam okay in the degree of indeterminacy is 2 okay the formula is n plus 1 uh, n plus 1 so the degree of indeterminacy is 2 plus 1 so total 3 number of hinges are needed for the failure the word pro proper word is used failure mechanism okay the failure mechanism will form if 3 hinges will form in the fixed ended beam okay if uh, this hinge and this hinge form uh, left and right hinges are only form the beam will be still stable it will take the load okay it will not go for the failure so means three hinges are needed for the failure mechanism 